Let me show you here with the diagram and talk you through it. Okay, you'll note the offense has come out. This is the read side because it's the pass strength side. They've got two receivers here, and they've got a tight end. So robber, 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 check robber. Whatever we call, bets are off. They've got a tight end. We're going to call robber coverage. Okay, number one, number two. We're talking about now the free safety and the saint are both going to read the number two receiver. The corner basically has man-to-man -man on the number one receiver. He just simply wants to stay over the top of him, and he cannot get beat deep. So, in essence, we cancel out number one. The corner's got it. The read comes in based on what number two does. Now, this sounds complicated, but work with me. It's very effective because the saint is going to play the outside into the flat and the wheel, and the free safety plays over the top. Example, number two drives off seven yards and continues up the hash mark. Remember, our line of demarcation is at seven yards. The free safety is going to yell, push, 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 because he's being pushed deep. And now the free safety will take number two. The corner takes number one. And the Saint can level in the flat. If they swing him back, he'll take him. Linebackers drop. Mike is working hook to curl. If he can get some hands on this uh, tight end, and we really encourage that trying to dislodge or distract or, or bump off a receiver out of his coverage, and then he'll move and help with uh, the back out of the backfield too if he needs to. That's the first scenario. Tight end comes up. Number one receiver goes deep. Number two runs a five yard out. Remember, he hasn't come to seven yards, so he hasn't broken past the line of demarcation. So now, when the free safety reads the uh, tight end, the number two receiver breaking out, that's his call. He goes out, 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 and that alerts the saint that you have a threat to the flat, and now the saint is going to hook up with number two. And if he's fast enough or they've got enough time and they're trying to wheel him, the saint just goes. So again, it's kind of a matchup zone where we've got man principles with this thing. And now the beauty of this is now the free safety is truly free. His eyes go to number one and we can actually double team the number one receiver. This is where the concept of robber comes in because the free safety is going to rob a curl or a post, any type of inside movement, a dig. He helps. He's sitting there. The quarterback is not reading him. He's watching the man coverage on number one, and we've had a number of picks by a free safety who could read those eyes and react to that receiver and make some plays. So he's robbing the curl or the post or the dig, any kind of inside movement. 